we humbly come before you. Good morning, Father God, Jesus, Holy Spirit. We humbly come before you this morning to praise your holy name and to give thanks and honor unto you. We thank you this morning, God, for this fantastic Friday that you have made with us in mind. Thank you for grace and mercy that you have given to us freely. Thank you, Father God, for being awesome and being sovereign. Thank you for always, Father, looking out for us on our behalf. Thank you for your wisdom, your dominion and power. Thank you, Father God, that we could come before you boldly to the throne of grace and mercy. Thank you, Father God, that in the name of Jesus, God, we have victory. We have salvation. We have, God, freedom to come to you. We can come and say, Abba. We can come and say, Daddy. We can come and say, ever-present help. Father God, I want to give thanks in the name of Jesus, God, this morning, Father God, for health and strength. Thank you, God, for sound mind. Thank you, Father God, for victory, God, over our circumstances and our situations. Thank you, Father God, that there is no failure in you. Thank you, God, that we have, Father God, a Savior, a Savior who loves us more than we can think or imagine. And then, Father, we come to say thank you this morning. We come to say hallelujah. We come to say, Father God, thank you for salvation, God, that you've given to us freely in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you that you are our navigator, that we could come and we could cast our cares on you and you will lead and guide us. You will direct us. You will tell us which way to go through the Holy Spirit. God, I give thanks that, Father God, that I have you that I can come to and say, Father, I cast my cares unto you. I thank you this morning, Father God, that you will direct me safely through. And then, Father, I come before you in the name of Jesus, God, to lift up your name and say, Lord, here we are this morning to say thank you. And then, God, thank you, Father, for what you've already done. Thank you, God, for the victories that are already won. Thank you, Father God, that you give us sound mind, that you give us, Father God, health in our bodies and strength in our limbs. And God, you give us victories over doctor reports and you give us victory, Father God, and traveling grace and mercy. And Father God, while we slept, you didn't. You woke us up with new mercies, God, that we didn't have to borrow. We didn't have to go see if we could get them. You give them to us freely at 100%. Lord, we give thanks for this day, our daily bread. We thank you, Father God, that you already know every issue and concern of our hearts. And you've already, God, have your wisdom. You already have your divine power over it. And we know, God, that it all works together for our good. Lord, thank you as we build up and we continue to grow and persevere in patience and in strength and wisdom and knowledge. Thank you, Father God. Thank you. Thank you for your patience with us, Father. Thank you that you don't even have to be patient with us, but you do. Thank you, Father God, that we know that in the name of Jesus, if we trust in your word, if we believe, if we continue to press toward the mark, you will bring us through. You will help us. You will speak to our hearts. You will direct our paths. You will order our steps. So Lord, thank you this morning as we come collectively gathered to say thank you, gathered to say, Father, we know you are our ever-present help. Lord, thank you in the name of Jesus for what you have done this far. Thank you, God, that as we proceed through this day, that we will keep our minds stayed on you. We thank you, Father God, that in the name of Jesus, that we will focus on what your word says. We will look up and not look at. We will be guided, navigated by your strength, by your wisdom, by your direction. And Lord, thank you this morning that today someone will have that victory they've been praying for. Someone will have that good doctor's report. Someone will have that child that they've been praying for come and say, I want to know more about Jesus. Because God, you're that kind of father, your savior. We're praying and asking in Jesus' name today, God, that someone who has been asking God for employment, someone who has been praying for a, a situation that they may be too ashamed to even share with someone. God, you, hallelujah, will take care of that and victory is won. Thank you, God, that you made us with a purpose. You made us in your image. You made us to do great things. And Father, thank you 
that we can believe your word. You're not like us. You don't have to repent. Your word, Father God, is true, tried and true. So thank you today, God, for the privilege, for the opportunity. And God, thank you for the victories. Thank you, Father God, that today someone will dance and shout hallelujah. Today, somebody will say, victory is mine. Lord, thank you in the name of Jesus, God, for all that you have done, all that you're doing, and all that you continue to do on our behalf. Lord, we thank you this morning. And God, you are a mind regulator. God, we know that confusion is not of you. We know, God, that you come and you give us, God, sound mind. You give us a mind to think. You give us a mind to reason. And then, God, thank you, Father God. Thank you, God, that you not only, God, provide sound mind and give us sound mind, but you give us, Father God, our needs and above our needs. So thank you, Father God. Thank you today that victory is won because our Savior lives. Our Savior lives in us. And we thank you, God, that we are made in your image and we have the victory over situations and circumstances. We thank you, God, that you always have us on your mind and we're always close to your heart. Thank you, Father God, that in the name of Jesus, Father, that we have you to always be right on our side, no matter when friends turn away or others turn away, you're always there and you're always loving, sovereign and dependable. So Lord, thank you. Thank you, God. In Jesus Christ's name, thank you, Father, for this day, my daily bread. And so it is, amen. And now we turn it over for the prayer request. And so God, thank you so much for all the prayer requests that are before us, God. We know that before we called upon you, you answered and while we, you were yet speaking, you had already heard our request and we thank you, Father, for that. Father, we thank you, Lord God, that we can come to you with our prayer requests and that you will hear our request. God, thank you so much for that. We pray for those, Lord God, who are suffering with COVID-19 right now. We know that the new surge, the uh, BA5, is uh, really inundating our communities, God. And we pray, Father God, for those, Lord God, who are suffering, Father, for uh, Patricia's husband um, 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 and her daughter and the grandkids who are all suffering. Lord God, we pray, Father, that you will heal their lungs, that you will heal their bodies, Father, that their respiratory systems will respond. We pray, Father God, the same for Letitia and Father, for all those, Lord God, who suffer right now from COVID-19. We pray, Father, that their immune systems will be restored, Father, that there will be no complications, no long-term effects as a result of it, God. We believe you, God, for a good report because you are, God, the healer who heals us, God. And we thank you, Father God, for healing our diseases, God. We thank you for mental stability, Father. We thank you that you're able to be that mind regulator, Father. And we are praying, Father, for those, Lord God, who are suffering in their minds, in their emotions, in their bodies, God. And Father God, we pray, Father, specifically for those who are bereaved right now, God, who are going through, God, who are hurting in their hearts, God. We pray, Father God, that you would mend their brokenness, God, that you would walk alongside of them, God. Father, for those, Lord God, who are sick, Father, who just need a touch from you, Father, those who are dealing with palliative care, Lord, Lord, those who are dealing with hospice, those who are dealing with chronic illnesses, Father, those who are dealing with just uh, recovering from surgeries, Father, we pray, Father God, for your healing power, you're able to touch us, Father, just as you touched the woman, Father God, Lord God, and made her whole, God, by her touching your hymn, Father God, we know, God, that you can un- take um, the situations of our lives, God, and Father, you can make them completely whole, God. So we thank you for that. We pray, Father, for those who are lost and on their way, Father God, to a place that they have not a relationship with you. And we pray, Father God, that you would receive them into your kingdom. 
Father God, that they would open up their hearts and their minds to see who you are. And Father, that they would become believers, God, in the name of Jesus. And I pray, Father God, for those who are believers, who just need another strength from you, God, who need to be able to know that you're walking alongside of them today. And then we pray, Father God, that every day, that people will have a new journey, Father, that they will know, Father, that it is under your blood, Father God, that you are the one who is able to uh, redeem us, to uh, restore us and deliver us, God. And Father, we pray, Father, for our pastor, Pastor James T. Meeks, and we're praying, Father God, for Pastor Dakes, and Father God, for all of our leaders, our elders, uh, the men and women, Father God, who stand in the gap, who, who lead in our churches every Sunday, Father God, around the world, God, we are praying for them. And we pray, Father God, that you would bless them, bless their families, Lord God. And Father God, for every leader, volunteer, Father God, we pray for them, Lord God, who give of their all, God, unto you, Father God, who give of their all as they teach Sunday school, Father God, as they teach Bible study, Father God, as they serve as ushers and leaders and parking and greeters, Father God, as they st stay as intercessors, God, we just pray for them. Father God, for all those who serve, for all those who volunteer, we pray, Father, that you would encourage their hearts today. And as we open up our mics together, God, worshiping you and praising you, Praise your holy name, Father God. Thank you, Father God, for all that you do, Father God. I thank you for being God all by yourself, Father. I thank you, Father God, for keeping each and every one of us, Father God. I pray right now in the name of Jesus, Father God, that you see.